What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video here on the channel. This one in particular, we're going to be doing the ally quest line crash landing. So there is that. This one's going to be slightly different though because we're going to be going to be attempting the romance options, if you will, for this specific character, which I won't really ruin. I've done this before, obviously, but... Um, I, I don't want to ruin any part of the story before we actually get to it here on the channel. So there's that. If you're excited for this uh, series, though, this little tiny series of this quest line, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get going. All right. Um, first things first, where is this investigate the emergency signal? Show on map. Um, all right, so it's over there by the abandoned bunker. Uh, alright, well, let's just go ahead and fast travel. Oh, crap, I'm encumbered. Alright, so we can't fast travel. So let's figure out what Asbestos. we need to get loose. Do Would we have anything like to, to scrap? Hunt. Uh, well, that definitely needs to go away. Uh, Blood Eagle's jacket, that needs to go in there. Alright, is this a legendary? This is a legendary. I need to get rid of this, to be honest. I might just drop it. I don't know. We'll see. We might make a quick pit stop to go get rid of that. Oh, the final word needs to go away, too. Um, junkies, that's going to get destroyed. Uh, and with those two, I should be good to fast travel now. Holy crap, dude. I'm I'm really encumbered then. Junk is um, electron well, let's go ahead and drop Looks like it might rain these and that. Uh, these I won't be able to drop, but I'm just going to drop them anyways. And of course that, and that, and this. Does that mean I can fast travel? Yes, it does. So let's go. Uh, first things first, we need to make a pit stop. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I don't have to go there, do I? Where's the closest train station? Let's go to this. Well, is there one closer to where we're going? Um, I know there's one up here somewhere. This one. Let's go here first, and we will scrap those two weapons really fast over there at the train station, and then following immediately after that, we're going to go straight to this whole crash landing quest line and give it a go. That's me and my daughter. Uh, she doesn't play Fallout 76 anymore, but she enjoyed it while she did play it. Um, but then again, the only reason she doesn't play is because her PC is kind of like messed up right now. Well, had a weird little lag right there yeah her PC kind of messed up right now for some reason I'm not entirely sure uh, all right we'll get rid of that get rid of that and that should be everything right uh, yep all right we're sh we should be good to go so we will actually fast travel there as a matter of fact I think it's by far the fastest option. No, but yeah, her PC uh, is not ne not necessarily her PC, but her monitor uh, isn't working right now. So I have to get her a brand new monitor so uh, she can actually, you know, use the PC and play her games and stuff like that. So uh, it happens, I suppose. But it actually looks like we're here. Investigate the emergency signal. There's a bunch of dead settlers here. What? What could be the reason behind these dead people? Interesting, to say the least. All right. Well, first things first, there's something on the wall that I see already. Die! Oh, there's another one. I was wondering why there was another sound. Seriously, um, third person kind of sucks. I like third person for the channel, only because it's... I think, in my opinion, it kind of looks a little bit more interesting. Uh, more entertaining to see the actual character. Uh, but, hold on, let me make sure there's nothing here. <laughs> exactly. Is that it? Nobody else? <laughs> Hello. I'm trying to get some food, damn it. There we go. That now should be everything. Oh god, now I'm sick. Oh well, I don't care. Let's go. 
Excuse me, ma'am. Who are you, Commander Dagra? I can't. Sure. I can't think. Are you? Are you a doctor? Um. Did the, did the United States Space Administration send you? No. They must have issued you a stim pack, right? Well, I mean, I have a stim pack, but no, they didn't send me. Here you go. Wait, the United States Space Administration? What do you even mean? I'm. Oh, God. Oh, keep it together. The USSA. We send things into space. Oh, God. Ooh, please. Can you help me out? Yeah, of course. Here. Uh, take this for the pain. Oh, thank you. So. You're real after all, huh? I mean, I suppose. It's a relief. Oh. I can feel it working, but oh, just so tired. Not sure if I can stand quite yet. Mm. My name is Commander Sofia Daguerre. I'm an astronaut with the USSA. Daguerre. Mm, it's a pleasure to meet you. You're just Sofia, all right? That's all I'm just going to call you. I'm never going to pronounce your name right, so Sofia it is. Um, how'd you get injured anyways? My ship crashed Excuse nearby. I, I could barely walk, but somehow I made it here. I must have hit my head in the crash. Hard to remember. Uh, are you sure you're okay? Thanks for your concern. I'm still woozy, but much better. Thanks. I, I said that already, didn't I? <laughs> Uh, so quick question though, are you really an astronaut? Cause that's, that's pretty insane, dude. Yes, I'm the pilot of the deep sleep mission, launched in 2070. Maybe Whoa, you seven years before the world ended. The news. <laughs> well, minus the head wound. Yeah, about the news, uh, there is no news anymore. But anyways, uh, I kind of sort of heard your message. Uh, a long time ago, actually. I'm surprised you're still here. But that's besides the point. Tomato, tomato, all right? Uh, sounds like uh, you need my help, though. Oh, that's a relief. Thank you. I figured the military would have arrived for the crashed ship. It's been... <sighs> a while, though. I still haven't heard from my crew, either. Oh, God. I can't believe this is happening. I need to find my crew. Contact the USSA. Oh, get some first aid. <sighs> One thing at a time, though. Where am I, anyway? Um. Uh. Well, you're in the remnants of the United States of America, as a matter of fact. And I do mean remnants. It doesn't exist anymore in the way you might believe. Uh, but more specifically, we're in Appalachia. The remnants of Appalachia? What do you mean? I, I remember... Almost... Damn it. What do you mean, remnants? Uh... So, let me ask you this first. When do... What year do you think it is? Oh... Oh, no. Well, that is not the kind of question I was hoping to hear right now. I was supposed to emerge in 2075, with an optional extension to 2080. Things were going well. Uh, and when specifically did your mission launch? We launched the deep sleep mission in 2070, and I entered the hibernation pod very shortly after we achieved orbit. <clears throat> Why do you ask? Oh, I'm leading to something, but I don't think you're gonna like what I'm gonna tell you. Uh, what's the last thing you remember? Before the crash. Uh, the mechanical engineer on the crew. Uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Bernard. He helped me into the deep sleeper pod. He said, see you in a few years. And we waved at each other. Wait. So you know about the war, right? With the nukes? Because it doesn't sound like you do if you left it uh, in 2070. And then went to hibernation and woke up, well, at least we're supposed to wake up at 2075. 
So that timeline doesn't really add up because the war happened in 2077. Are you serious? You can't be serious. Tell me you're just trying to be funny here. Ha <laughs> ha. Please. No. Uh... Um, your mission, unfortunately, is decades late at this point. My assumption is that the USA, uh, USSA is long gone. But the, the USSA had contingencies, plans, fail-safes, backup robotic agents. Damn it. This wasn't supposed to happen. I think... Um, I need to focus on just finding my crew. There were three others, and I just... <sighs> I didn't see anybody. Or any bodies. So they had to be in the ship, or... Maybe only my emergency pod crashed? I, I don't know. Damn. Could you go to the crash site and look for the ship's flight recorder? It it's not far. Um. Uh. So where's this crash site? Not far at all. I can't walk much right now, but you can almost see it from here. Almost. Take a right from the bunker. Cross the river. It's not too deep. Then it's up the mountain a bit. I fell down the slope. Not sure how far. Oh, follow the mountain ridge. Look for smoke. You should be able to find it easily. That sounds pretty far. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, I'll get the flight recorder from the crash site. No worries. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. My body is still shaking, so I'm gonna just try to stay still and listen to the comms. Just in case. I want to take a picture of her. Does that does that sound weird? <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, don't look at me like that, girl. Fuck, I'm about to help you. All right, let's go help Sophia the first, since she's the pilot, I believe she said, or the commander. I don't know. I don't know anymore. All right, you know what? Tomato, tomato. Ew, that stick. I just realized this. It's like. Injected into the bear's butt. Feel bad for that bear. Alright then. Alright, so let's uh let's actually take a look. Oh yeah, dude, it is somewhat far. She said it's not far. The fuck Alright. I mean I guess it's not too far, I suppose. Let's go third person. Only because it looks a lot better in my opinion. But personally I do I do prefer playing in first person. Makes me feel like I actually am the character. Alright. Looks like it's all the way up here. Oh god. What does that sound? Why am I getting nervous off of crickets? It's around here somewhere though so... Should be pretty nice. Wait. Oh, found it. Damn, dude. This thing got destroyed. I want to take a picture of this, too. Um. Right. There. Bingo. Look at this. It's absolutely obliterated. All right, so whatever it is I'm looking for is right here. Extract flight extractor. Commencing cell mode up. Hang up. Please, please, wait. Um. So I have to wait for two minutes almost. Bet you something's gonna come and wanna fight me. And if that's the case, I'm ready for it. Damn it. Come. I'm scared. Oh god. Do I have anything to throw at him? 
No. Someone there. Nope. No one's here. <laughs> but you can sit your ass down. Here, let me. No, that's not what I wanted. All right, let me go back over here. Let me see if I could get this grenade to make homeboy blow up. Oh, what the fuck? Dude, the Mothman scared the shit out of me. All right, let me uh, pop this dude real quick. Damn, dude, I destroyed him. Nasty. All right, um, we're good here. Oh no, homeboy has to go. Nice try. Oh, dude, you broke my. Oh, you bastard! Stop breaking my shit, asshole. Mini nuke. All right, got some more caps. So it looks like we only got ten more seconds. How did they get down here so fast? They were up there just a second ago. Well, one of them's still up there. That moron seems to be stuck, though. Hold on, I should probably eat, huh? Um... I don't care if it's not grilled. Where is my water? Purified water. Collect the flight recorder. Sick! Damn, that looks, that looks cool. Alright, since these guys don't want to come down to the party. I'm not going to fast travel since it's literally just there, so. Ow. I'm just going to run. Because I'm a gangster. No, it's really just right here, so it's like, there's no point of running. I mean, uh, fast traveling. Run! Return to Sophia. Oh god. Looks like we're here. What's I wonder what's on this flight recorder. Cause I don't think you can listen to it. That'd be cool if you can. But I don't think you can. Well, luckily these rad roaches haven't spawned or respawned. So let's go ahead and go back over here and talk to her and be like, Hey, what's up, homegirl? Guess what I found? I'm guessing nobody from the Space Administration was up there collecting evidence and looking for survivors. Huh. Um. No. But I got your flight recorder. Oh, that's a relief. No. We just have to decrypt it to access the data. Our ship's robot would have had a standard grade USSA encryption key. If it survived the crash, it would be heading back to the nearest military depot. Um. So basic robot behavior subroutines uh, would view me taking the key as a hostile threat though. Am I correct in that assessment? Oh. Right, uh, of course, there's, there's an emergency code, uh, blue sunset, I can't nice. believe I forgot that. Alright, well, if that's the case, tell me about this robot. The escape pod's robot is a, a, an assault tron, I think. It's responsible for the encryption key. Last I was able to check its signal, it was returning to... Yeah, a, a military base or doing diagnostics? It's hard to tell. Oh, okay. Well, tell me what to do then. It's simple, really. Get to the robot and get the encryption key. I can tune its transmitter signal to your external device there. You should be able to track it down. Alright, cool. Sounds like a plan. For now, let's go ahead and go and check out this... Wait, can I just fast travel from here? Oh, it's not even that far again. They're teasing me with this mission. It's like, I want to fast travel, but there's nothing to fast travel to. The only option I have is to run. <clears throat> Alright. So, which way is this 
Um, somewhat the same direction. Let me ma verify. Yep. All right. Somewhat the same direction, but a little bit different. I need to find a cooking bench, so whenever we get home, I suppose we will cook all the food that we've recently got. Specifically, of course, the the uh, rad roach meat, which, in retrospect, sounds pretty disgusting. Who the hell is shooting? Oh! Oh god. Oh god. Die! No! Die! Oh god. Oh god. No! Come back here! Please die. I promise I won't take your lunch money. But I will take your meat. Uh, stim packs, sure, why not? Glowing meat. Any more food around here? I think we're good. Let's go. Definitely use all the food we can get because I'm a hungry man. What can I say? Ah, stuck. All right. Are we? Are we here? I think we're here. Get the encryption key from the USSA robot. <clears throat> what the hell is that? I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest. But the robot is around here somewhere. I don't see a rope. There it is. Pandora? Warning. Do not interfere. This unit is on an emergency assignment. Direct inquiries to director of the USSA. Um, blue sunset. Access code received. Validating code. Confirming identity. Accepted. Welcome, Commander Daguerre. Transmitting encryption key as requested. Terminating transmission. This nice. unit will now continue to USSA custody presently. Stand back. See you later, Pandora. The Explorer. Alright, I'm gonna fast travel back. Help me. <laughs> I forgot where I took this picture. Oh, that's right. This was at the very end of the, uh... The, uh, ally quest line for, uh... I almost said Drake for some reason. What the hell? What's his name? Beckett. Drake? Where'd I get Drake from? Alright. Well, good thing is that we have the encryption key to give to, quote-unquote, the astronaut, a.k.a. Sophia the First. Oh, she's awake. Hello. I had hoped I could reprogram this console here. But it's barely functional. Did you find the encryption key? Uh, as a matter of fact, I did. Uh, I have your key. It wasn't really that easy, though, to be honest. We got attacked by some super mutants and stuff while we were waiting for it to eject from the console. A little extra, no. But regardless, here you go. Oh, perfect. I just uh, need a console to work with so I can analyze the data. I don't suppose you know of a good electronics store, eh? Well, this is the best buy down the street. Um... Uh, what do you need this with this data anyways? It holds data related to our positions, so the rescuers can find all of us. In case something happens on re-entry. A failsafe, really. I don't know if it will work, but I don't know how else to find my crew without this, since our comms are down. What will you do with the recorder data now? Nothing, I guess. Until I can get it to a working console. Can we repair this console? I'm not sure it'd be worth it, all the flooding down here. But we might be able to rebuild it, uh, above ground. You wouldn't know of a secure location, would you? Yeah, sure, why not? Come to my camp. Y you're sure? Of course! You're, you've already done so much for me. Ah, Maybe you're worth it. for a night or two. Until I feel better. Thank you. I'll make you a bed too. I don't want to 
to slow you down, though. Maybe you should take these schematics. Get that console rebuilt at your camp. I should be able to get there by the time it's built. And, hey, thanks for your help. Anytime. I bet this was not what you planned to do today, but I'm real glad you found me. Oh, you're sweet. All right, Commander. Uh, where's my camp? Let's go to my camp and put this console down. Beck is going to be upset that we're kicking him out of our camp, but it's okay, though. We have somebody to replace him with. Someone to potentially love with a passion. You know, I want, I want to wear that bandana. I think I'm going to make it really fast. I think it only needs, like, one cloth anyways. I should have enough. Let me see. Uh, do I have it in my inventory? I don't think I have it in my inventory. Um, no, I don't. So I am going to quickly make it. Beckett's hmm. going to be so upset. I know right. a guy who could fix that. Let me make that bandana real quick. Craft. Could I interest you in a block well, This would be of under concrete. headwear, maybe? Um... Hold on, let me go all the way down and then make my way up. My god, I have a lot. Alright, let me see here. Um, There it is. Oh, so I was close. It wasn't one, it was three. So apparel, stars and stripes, bandana. Now let's check me out. Yeah, that actually doesn't look bad. I'll take it. All right, so now we must. Scorch to the ferals don't get you. Ah, uh, you're right. too late. I'm already uh, halfway drunk. Store? Is there a specific section for allies? Um, let me see here. I don't see one. Oh, there it is. All right, so this, uh, I suppose we'll put it back here too. I'm sore all over. Building uh, this place up is sure, hard work. Sure, why not? Am I hungry? Alright. Yeah, this right here, you though, I'm going to get rid enough. of. You'll miss what you're looking Store? For. No, we'll scrap this. And we'll leave that side up. Just so that she has a side way to go to. This shouldn't have happened. Oh, she's here. Let's talk to her real quick. Is Earth always so solid? Feels so wobbly. I mean, we're not on a boat, Sophia, but here you go. Talk to me. <laughs> yeah. This place should do just fine. Thanks for setting up the console. I can work with this. This console looks pretty good. A little rusty in places, though. I there? guess you got these parts from a junkyard, huh? <clears throat> Resourceful. The scanner currently has a Model 38X2, which is built for scanning very specific locations. Not bad, but I would like to improve it. The year before I launched, the military was rolling out some scanner upgrades. One of those could give us more speed and detail in our scans. Can you find a scanner upgrade module for this? It would help us find so much more. And much more quickly. Uh, what's so important about this uh, scanner module? The upgrade module should extend the range of the scanner in our console here rather substantially. I can then cross-check some of the USSA data that you gathered from my ship's console, which will help isolate specific useful signals. Sunny makes it good. I mean, that makes sense. Where can I find one? I don't suppose you can just swing by a tech supplies store, hmm? Yeah, we can go to that Best Buy. Yeah, I didn't think so. Last I knew, these types of things were common items in military bases and compounds. But my information is admittedly oh, out of date. Okay, just a tad I'll bit. I'll transfer the coordinates to a local military base, but I can't vouch for its security status. It's hard to detect anything specific right now. The world is my yeah, no worries, man. I'll definitely find you that module for you. Swell. In the meantime, I'll fix up this console a bit. Did you know that it still uses the outdated P14B configuration for its power chamber? 
I mean, I know you yeah. all survived the end of the world, but using this as is would be like living in squalor and the apocalypse. Listen, <laughs> I know you've done a lot for me already. Got me out of that sunken bunker and let me stay here. It means a lot. Aw. Uh. uh do you have everything you need for the console? Uh, no. I need a TF-85B adapter to improve the visual fidelity of the scanner, but those... Uh, those were being phased out when... When... When you left? <laughs> when I launched decades ago. Yep. So, now I need to be the one to adapt or else. Right? Exactly. Don't worry. We got you, though. Right? Uh, oh well. <laughs> anyway. No, I don't really have what I need, but I'm making do. I think I can muddle through with this. Alright. Uh, how are you doing? It's just about time I feel like you've been through a lot, man. It's hard. I bet. I don't know what to say. It's... More than I ever expected could happen. This wasn't even in the realm of possibilities when I launched. But I could have been worse. I need to remember that. Cool. Well, I'll be back then. Uh, don't worry. Just make yourself at home. Whatever's here is yours, too. Copy. Over and out. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to get all work on, worky on me. Let me get you some clothes. I feel like... You need something different. <laughs> All right, let me see here. Um, I literally have pretty much every outfit from the Atom Shop. So let me see. What would she look mm. good in? It's just about time to eat. Mm. We could get her a better spacesuit. Let me see here. What would she look good in? Flyboy outfit. I, I mean, this would make sense, this is just but how it is now. Let me see. What would she look good in? I think she would look good in. Huh? She doesn't seem like the girly type to me, so I'm not gonna give her like a yeah. laundered dress or anything. Now people have come back to this area. They'll all want to be seen um, places like Foundation. I could get her a jumpsuit because she is pretty tough in that way. Piper's outfit. No. Oh, I don't know what to give her. What should we give her? Don't want to give her too raidery or too scavery because she's not that type of person. And oil spill. Let I have here. never seen anything. So stars and stripes dress. I mean, left still a dress, but precious junk all around. Was it you? You know what? Bomber jacket. Nah, that seems a little boyish to me. She doesn't seem girly, but she doesn't seem boyish either. She seems just normal. You know what I mean? So I think we're just gonna give her. I gotta find One it now, damn it. At a time. Give her something. And of course, I don't wanna make it so where it's like too clean. Since we do live in a post-apocalypse area, no, not Red Rocket. I want to give her the Nuka Cola Quantum Sunny makes a jumpsuit. Good hoagie. All right, let's try this. Where is she? Hey, you. Put uh this on. Look at her. Oh, that is such an improvement. That is an improvement. Can we can we make her a hat or something? Let's see if we can make her a, a nice little hat. This fix that never seems to end. Uh, headwear. Mmm. I mean, I feel like this hat would work on her. Let's try it out for now. This does make sense too. We'll try that out. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else Sunny makes it good, that honey. would make sense for her? Right now, I'm kind of leaning towards the trucker hat, though. 
When you die, can I harvest you for mm. bone shards? No, I don't like mm. any of these other ones for her. I know a guy who could fix specifically that. for her. Although she would be a military officer, so that military officer outfit and dress hat would make sense, but still we're in you know, post apocalypse era. Not even the satellites are responding. And she woke <sighs> up already? She What's just fell asleep. So I think those are my two options though. I don't think I have although a cowboy hat would be pretty cool, I think. Um Tricentennial hat. Yeah, no, I think we're good. You I think we're gonna go with I this. So let's go talk to her like one more again. Where's she at? Oh, I'm all out of water. Sophia, where'd you go? Is this her? Yes, she is. Let me see. Thanks for giving me a place to stay for a bit. All right, I'm leaning towards the ber the hat, but I kind of want to see her in a beret. Okay, that's what she looks like with that. Now let's see her with a trucker hat. Oh no, I don't. Nice place. I mean, I think it's nice anyway. I don't like it. Oh no! Here, take the freaking beret. Hey, where's the beret go? Is my dumpster. Did she eat my beret? So it goes straight into the uh, stash. Where'd she go? Oh, she's on the other side. Stop Sunny running. Well, I mean, I guess she doesn't look too bad. Oh, excuse me. I'm still gonna give her the beret. Small these mountains would have looked. I think it looks better. Oh, oh, stuck. There we go. If my crew is out there. I hope they found someone decent to take All right. On. So retrieve the scanner upgrade. Where is this anyways? Hmm. Way down here. Sugar. Is this sugar or whatever? Oh, no. That. All right. Well, it's not too far from us. But we're definitely going to call it a video right here, right now, guys. In the next video, we're definitely going to progress a little bit in the story. Uh, well, her side of the story, of course. In this uh, little mini-series, I guess, for the ally uh, for Sophia de, de, Gar, de, de, de her, whatever. I can't pronounce her name, so just leave me alone on that, all right? Uh, so, yeah, but yeah, in the next video, we're definitely going to continue on with that and see where this story leads, and hopefully we can potentially romance her, so there's that. If you enjoyed this video, though, and do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Uh -huh.